Hello guys, welcome back to the channel today. Now we were going to start things off in this episode by playing the game against Bologna. It was the first leg of the semi-final of the League Cup. However, episode 9 will instead feature two games against Celtic in the Europa League first knockout round. So fingers crossed we can get through that. So let's run the intro and get into today's episode. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the channel today. Now we're back with another episode of the Rossoneri Rampage as we've already gone through in the intro. Now we have had a lot of things go on since you last joined us. First of all though, let's go and have a look at the schedule and we can see here the last time you joined us was for that 1-0 victory in the Cup quarterfinals. We have since beaten Lazio 3-0, we Sassuolo 3-2, Chievo 3-0 or Chievo, Udinese 2-0, 1-1 draw in the TIM Cup semi-final first leg against Bologna. We then beat them 3-0 in the league and Benevento we beat 1-0 in the league. Now usually I would go in and show you the highlights from all these games but I have got some other stuff to talk to you about so we're not going to do that in today's episode. We're going to obviously play these two games against Celtic, the first knockout rounds of the Europa League which is going to be a massive game for us. If we can get through this, which I think we probably can because I think we are better than Celtic. So first of all though, We've had some changes in the team. We've had some players going out and, more importantly, we've had some players coming in. So let's go and have a look then at the transfer history for the club. Now, since you last joined us, we have brought in Martin Erdegaard from Real Madrid for 17.25 million. We activated his minimum fee release clause. Now, he has come in to the club kind of as a replacement for Suso, unfortunately, really manufactured a deal out to Real Madrid. We bought in Odegaard for 17.25 million and we've also bought in Stefano Sturaro for 6.25 off the transfer list. Now, going out in the opposite direction, first of all was Suso, who moved to Real Madrid for 36 million pounds, 41.5 million after add-ons. Now, I think we've got quite a good deal there. I mean, he played really well for us and, you know, he was one of our better players, but I think the amount that Real Madrid have paid I think we can build a better team with better players than Suso. So I was happy to let him go. Now, the next man out the door was Ricardo Montalivo, who has moved to Gangzu or Guangzhou for 4.4 million. He's now valued at 6.25, but he's 33 years of age. He's not getting any better, and he was on a hell of a lot of wages. So I was happy to see the back of it. I mean, he did play quite well for us, and he was a bit of a club legend, but I was happy to let him go. This is the player I didn't want to go, and that was Alessio Romagnoli, who has moved to Barcelona for £35 million, potentially rising to £45 million. Again, they came in for him, and he really wanted to go. Now, I would rather have been able to keep Alessio Romagnoli, but unfortunately, he, he just wanted to go, and the players wanted him to you know, leave, and they put pressure on me. So I thought £35 million... We'll do business at that. We can get that up to 45 with add-ons. Now, Jerson Vergara went in the opposite direction as well for £325,000 to Kukuta Deportivo. Now, he would never have really featured. And a couple of the younger players, Jacopo Finesi, went out the back door, as did Matteo Sonsin, who could develop into a reasonably OK keeper in the future. But we're not really going to be putting that much time into this save, I don't think. So... Those are the players that went out. We've obviously covered Odegaard and Storaro who came in, which I think, particularly from a point of selling Montalivo 4.4 mil and bringing in Stefano Storaro for 6.25, is already valued at 9.5. That's a good bit of business. I'm, you know, we've only spent 1.825 million in bringing him in. He's on less wages as well. He was on 89,000 Montalivo was for us, so 29,000 pounds a week better off. And he's going to be a better player for us. 24 years of age, he's going to be kind of the Gattuso type role I think he's going to be really really good first team player we had a few problems with Juventus bringing him in the fans haven't really taken to him just yet but you know I'm, I'm happy with that bit of business there and obviously Odegaard he's going to come into his own got a bit of developing to do but he's going to develop into one of the best players on the game in the near future so 
Today, obviously, we have got Celtic coming up in the first of our double live come against them in the Europa League first round knockout. So let's progress to that point, pick the team for today's game and play the game yeah okay then so the bookmakers have us in at five to four favorites today against celtic seven to four a celtic win 11 to five the draw they come into the game on strong form we are in excellent form no previous matches played between these sides they're going with a four five one we're going with the standard four two one two one structured formation standard mentality and we're going to pick the team so donovan is going to go in goal right back we're going to have ignacio abate in the middle, we're going to have Matteo Musaccio and Leonardo Bonucci. On the left wing back position, we're going to have Ricardo, uh, Ricardo Rodriguez, Secundo Volante, Frank Kessi, alongside Lucas Bilia. And we're going to have. We're going to have to go with Stefano Storaro in that role. And then we're going to have Erdegaard on the right. On the left, we're going to have Giacomo Bonaventura. And Andre Silva, who has been scoring for fun for us, is going to take the first strike position. And we're going to pick without restriction the rest of the unpicked positions just so we can get into this game today. So here we go then. They're going with Craig Gordon in goal, Schmelzer, Simeonovic, Boyata and Lustig at the back with Sinclair, Rogic, Bitton, Brown and Roberts in the middle with Lee Griffiths up front on his own. We're going with Donnarumma, Rodriguez, Bonucci, Masaccio and Abate with Bilia and Kessi and Storaro in the middle. Bonaventura and Odegaard out wide with Andre Silva up top on his own. Now assertive, show what we can do to keep our run going. And we're just going to tell them again assertively. I think there's a lot more to come from you today. So go out there and do what you've got to do, basically. So we've got some good good thumbs up there. So we're going out to play the first game here against Celtic in the Europa League first knockout rounds. And Celtic have kicked off. Rogic plays the ball field towards Griffiths, but Odegaard picks it up. Capitalises on that mistake, and that is the end of the opening highlight. So we've got a highlight then, 39 minutes in, and it's Patrick Roberts who lays it forward to Lee Griffiths, who's picked up an injury, takes a shot from range, and puts the ball over the bar. Been very, very end-to-end -end stuff at the minute. It's been quite condensed in the middle of the park. Neither side really looking to make that breakthrough. So I'm going to have to try and get into the players' heads at half-time. I've just uh, lost the old uh, microphone. It's just swiveled around on me. So yeah, we're just going to try and get into their heads at half-time in the dressing room, just to try and passionately get them to let's give the fans some cheer listen keenly not a fat lot though i've got to say now we're going to certainly tell them there's a lot more to come from you today i believe you've got what it takes so i'm going to do the same for all the positions to try and get them on the same sort of path and we've got a few thumbs up there so i'm going to go back into the game as things stands and andre silva plays back to billia who finds storaro back to andre silva to kessie now storaro Plays the ball forward to Martin Odegaard, who takes a shot from range, and unfortunately, I mean, that was no good, was it, really? So, we're going to go box to box midfielder with Storaro instead of the roaming playmaker role because he's a bit better in that position. So, we've got a highlight then, and it's Donnarumma who plays the ball to Rodriguez, to Bilia, to Frank Kessie, lofted pass to Bonaventura, who sticks the ball in the hands of Craig Gordon, even though he had players around him. Not too sure what happened there. Now, Kessie has the ball back to Bilia to Rodriguez, to Storaro, to Bonaventura, who tries a shot from range, but Gordon, with a good save down low in front of him, gathers the ball and removes the danger. So I think I'm going to take off Andre Silva, and I'm going to give um, I'm going to give Patrick Catrone a run out, just to see if those extra legs can do anything for us. And I'm going to bring on Hakan for Bonaventura, who hasn't had the greatest of games today. So hopefully Hakan could produce something out wide left for us today. So I'm going to ask them now to push forward and I'm going to go to a control mentality from standard just to try and push them back in the last days of the game hopefully it doesn't backfire on us we've got a highlight though and it's a Barté now on the ball ball given away and it, it all of a sudden oh Armstrong had a chance there to put Celtic ahead good save by Donnarumma and Armstrong takes the corner now plays the ball in Musacho though gets it away ball falls to Roberts on the edge of the area to Bitten Good tackle, now we have a chance to launch a counter-attack and it's Martin Odegaard to Rodriguez who plays a poor ball forward to Simiewicz and that is the end of that. Roberts with the corner, puts one hand in the air, goes towards the front post but Hyman gets it away and that is the end of that. So, assertively, 
I'm not happy with your performance out there. We'll hand it over to the assistant. We'll end the team talk. And we will be back in a moment. We're going to press on. We're going to send the assistant to that as well. We're going to praise Masaccio for his defensive performance. So we're going to be back in a moment, guys. Join me for that. But before that, we're going to play Crotone in the Serie A. So come back to see the highlights of that. And we're going to play the second leg against Celtic. Hello then, guys. Welcome back. Now, we went and beat Crotone 2-0 in the Serie A. We're going to have a quick look at the goals for you and see how we got on. It was good performance from the team on the whole, though. And Bonaventura played the ball to Kessie. Kalinic played the ball out wide to Abate with a great cross. And Barini crept in on the back post and nodded the ball into the back of the net. Now, Bonaventura played the ball into Barini. Bonaventura inside to Kessie laid off a lovely first-time pass to Nikola Kalinic. And that was that. Now, Fabio Barini also missed a penalty. Today, we are going to be playing Celtic again for the second time. It is the second leg of the first knockout rounds of the Europa League. We drew 0-0 away from home first time round. So I'm hoping that today we can pick up another win. So yeah, let's go and progress to the game day, to the team selection page and see how we get on. Welcome back then, guys. Now you can see here that they have us penciled in Sport Pays as evens favourites. We've got strong recent form. Celtic have decent recent form. They're 11-5 to get the win and 11-5 the draw between the two sides. Now we're going into... The match, and we can see here that Ignacio Abate is currently suspended. So that means DeAndre Yedlin will come in to replace him. And we're also going to bring on Stefan Ilsanka back into the team. We have got Donnarumma in goal, Rodriguez and Yedlin in the wing-back positions. Bonucci Masaccio in the middle with Storaro and Kessie. Hyman in the roaming playmaker role with Bonaventura Erdegaard on the flanks with Silva up top. And we are going to keep it that way as well. Because they played well against Crotone last time. So we can see here then that Celtic have Craig Gordon in goal. Schmelzer, Sviachenko, Biata and Lustig at the back. With Sinclair, Rogic, Britton, Brown and Roberts in a action-packed midfield with Armstrong up front on his own. Going to go in and we're going to passionately tell them that didn't have the effect, did it? Send the assistant to the tunnel. We're going to click the play button. And Andre Silva now plays the ball out wide. Kessie now to Yedlin. And that is the end of the opening highlight here. So it's a big game today, guys. I hope you're looking forward to the result of this one. And Armstrong now has the attack. But Yedlin now picks it up courtesy of a pass out wide. And he plays it inside to Martin Odegaard. He finds Hyman. Kessie forward to Silva. Oh, Bonaventura almost managed to slot the ball into the bottom corner there. Good, good start of the match. Now it looks like... Emerson Hyman has picked up a bruised ankle, so just going to have a look at him. Might look to bring him off in a bit. He's currently down at 85%, but he's okay to carry on at the moment. He's definitely... Masaccio has picked up an injury, so we need to take Masaccio off. And we're going to bring on Gabriel Paletta for Masaccio. Just before we do any worse damage. And we're probably going to bring off Hyman at half-time. Possibly for Bilia or Ilsanka. I have to play it by ear near at a time. Could probably bring on Ilsanka in that defensive midfield position and push um, push Dororo into that midfield centre position. So, 30 minutes gone here in this Europa League and nothing, not a lot is happening. I'm just going to send that little encouragement chant and we seem to have um, a highlight which has disappeared so can't have come to anything. 36 minutes gone here. Scores still level. Rogic has picked up an injury there for Celtic. He could be coming off at half-time. A few shots at goal here. We're unable to trouble the judge. And we're coming up to half-time and the scores are nil-nil. Celtic have played reasonably well yet again. We've had eight shots, two of which have been on target. But they haven't been in important enough areas now. We're going to go out there and we're going to aggressively tell them that oh, I'm not happy with their performance. We've fired the boys up. We've ended the team talk. We're going to bring off Emerson Hyman uh, next. I think we're going to bring Hyman off now. We're going to bring on... Who are we going to bring on? Billiet to replace Hyman. And we're going to we're gonna drop in the box-to-box -box midfielder for Lucas Billiet. And we're going to go in and we're going to start that second half. So Billiet comes on for Emerson Hyman. And Celtic kick the ball off for the second half here in the second leg at the first knockout. Rodriguez, though, finds Billiet. Andre Silva on the ball. Billiet brought down in the penalty area. Was it just on the outside? No, it's a penalty. We have got a penalty here against Celtic. And it looks like it's going to be Ricardo Rodriguez, our left back, to take it. Come on, Ricardo. Steps up, puts the ball in the back of the net. And AC Milan have broken the deadlock. It's been a really good performance from Celtic to keep us 
to nil nil for this long in both of the games but we've now broke the deadlock and we are now one nil up and i'm just going to tell them now just just encourage them a little bit try and get them fired up and it we've got another highlight now and it's billy who's done well since coming on got that penalty for us billy now plays the ball back to kessie out wide to odegaard he's got Yedlin on the overlap, but he doesn't need him, and he finds Andre Silva with a beautiful cross. And Andre Silva gets his foot on the end of it, puts the ball in the back of the net. 55 minutes on the clock, and we are 2-0 up now to the good against Celtic. And looking like getting through to the next round of the Europa League, which obviously, that is good. Now, Rogic has been injured. McGregor comes on. C. McGregor, surely not Conor McGregor. Callum McGregor at that. Now, 70 minutes gone. We're 2-0 up. Things are looking rosy here, so I'm just going to tell them now just to concentrate. Billia plays into Soraro, takes a shot from the edge of the area and narrowly misses that top corner. Would have been a great goal, that, from Soraro. So I just sent out to concentrate, and we're now going to drop back to counter because they're going to try and come at us now, I think, at this point in the game. Now, Andre Silva has the ball. Lovely pass out wide to Odegaard with a lovely first-time ball back. What an assist from Martin Odegaard. And Andre Silva adds his second of the game. Gives it a little bit of the Cristiano Ronaldo there with the celebration. And we are flying 3-0 up now against, against Celtic. Now, I'm going to bring off Bonaventura. I'm going to bring Hakan on on that le wide left position. And we've got around 10 minutes left to go. We, we're just going to tell them to tighten up now. We've done it. We have got through to the next round. Celtic are trying to come at us with the attacks but it's too little too late we have been by far the most dominant side here between the two starting to get a bit tired more so than Celtic and coming up to the last minute or so now we've already gone over the four minutes we're five minutes into the injury time Storaro plays the ball to Kessie to Silva and that is it and we have done it at the San Siro we've got the job done beautiful stuff there from AC Milan that second assist from Erdogan was absolutely superb and we've got the result we needed. Hemmed it over to the assistant. We're going to leave the match there. So, we have triumphed over the boys, or Celtic as they're known, in the second leg victory at the San Siro. We're through to the next round after completing that route over Celtic. Now, we, DeAndre Yedlin has picked up an injury only one to three days, though, so that is not the end of the world. Masacho, however, is out for three to four days, and we're going to use the club doctor and we're going to go into the Celtic Rangard when the referee awarded your team what considered a controversial penalty. Uh, yes. Today sees your team through to the next round of competition. You must be delighted. Do you think you can go all the way and win it? Uh, and I'm going to say I think we can go very close to doing that. Silver on form as AC Milan score. Brilliant victory. And we we'll just give them a little bit of fun as well there. Just a little bit of encouragement. So join us again in the next episode, which is going to be tomorrow. We'll have who we're going to be playing in the next round of the Europa League. And we're also going to come back with the semi-final leg two against Bologna. It's just going to be one game in tomorrow's episode. And then we're going to press through and complete the rest of this season, hopefully by the end of this week. So I hope you enjoyed this episode today, guys. Remember to leave a thumbs up on the video down below if you have. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll catch you again in the next one.